Greetings, sirs and or madams, and welcome to part two of Sir, You Are Being Hunted, where, as it turns out, we are still being hunted. Now, uh, this part is actually going to be very different than the first part I put out in one major way, and that is that the commentary you're hearing right now, my voice coming through your speakers, my sultry tones, uh, is actually being recorded after I've played the game. I am currently watching footage of what I've played before and talking over it. And you might be wondering why that is. I thought you were supposed to be doing, like, commentary as you played the game. Isn't that the point of a Let's Play? And you are correct, but unfortunately, there was a technical issue and my voiceover didn't get recorded, which is kind of a problem when you're doing a commentary video. Now, uh, normally, if this type of problem were to happen, I would go, aw, darn, and then I would just try again. I'd reload an old save, maybe acknowledge that I had already tried to record and something went wrong, but then I would just move on and play the game as normal. But unfortunately, with Sir You Are Being Hunted, you get one save slot. So when you save, you are saving over whatever old progress you had. So there's kind of no going back. And once I realized my voice hadn't recorded and I screamed at my monitor for a couple minutes, I kind of had a choice to make. I could either scrap the video entirely and just make a new recording and be like, yeah, all this stuff happened, but you missed it, so yeah, what can you do? I could, um, a lot of people suggested, I, I tweeted out about my problem, and a lot of people suggested, well, you know, not a lot of stuff happened in the first part, so just start over completely. Uh, what do you mean, not a lot of stuff happened? Do you mean, what, like, the first part was just me wandering around, scavenging, and trying to find artifacts? That's that's the game. Like that's gonna be every video in this series. So I I felt like that was that was crappy because then it would make the first part completely redundant and pointless. So I didn't want to do that. I thought about maybe faking the commentary, like pretending that I actually was playing in real time and just reacting to stuff. But I f that's dishonest. And I don't like dishonesty really. And uh, there's also the fact that. Like, with a computer game especially, the mouse movements and stuff are so erratic that I don't think it would ever come off as natural if I tried to record it after the fact and hide the fact that it, was, uh, that it wasn't being recorded live. So instead, I went this route, where I'm going to put out the part as normal, but all of my commentary on it will be here, after the fact. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope none of you are too uh, uh, peeved by this. I promise, I know what the problem was, so I promise that uh, I will make sure this does not happen again in the future. So anyway, on with the gameplay. Uh, right now, a robot in the distance there, he saw me. So he, like, he didn't go on alert, but he did that thing where he's just like, what What was that? I think I see something. And now he, now he actually did see me. And I'm getting shot at, and that's bad. So I'm going to run through the forest to avoid him. My point, um, or sorry, my, my, uh, my goal in this part, in this recording, was to find some type of weapon. Just... Any, anything. Because I am so stocked up on ammo. <laughs> okay, there's actually more robots in the wood. That's bad for me. And they're shooting at me with their shotguns. And they're deadly. Thankfully, they're inaccurate and don't have long range, so I, I haven't gotten hit yet. But my point... Uh, my, God, my objective... I gotta stop saying my point. Was to try and find a gun. Or just something. Anything. A, a, a hatchet. An axe. Whatever. Anything that could beat the robots off... That sounded much better in my head before it came out of my lips. Anything I could do to kill the robots in self-defense, um, I just needed something. I needed something to defend myself. And now I have all this revolver ammo, so a revolver would be the best thing I could possibly find. But I would take anything I could find. A pocket knife. I don't think those ha they have this thing, but some. Like a squeak toy. I could beat something off with a squeak. I gotta stop saying beat something off. That is, yeah. Hmm. Someone's going to isolate that. That's not good. So a lot of this is going to be me um, scavenging around and trying desperately to find some type of weapon. Uh, and these islands are not actually... I'm, I, I'm still on this first island, the center island. And it's not actually... I thought it would be uh, a, a ton bigger. But I do kind of circle around a bunch and run into old areas. So maybe it's not as big as I thought it was. I might be incorrect, but maybe I just have a terrible sense of direction and I keep stumbling upon the old stuff. But, yeah, I run into the same little villages I've run into numerous times. Uh, it takes me a second to realize it, usually, but I do, I do find it. The problem with these houses is that they are so full of, like, skulls and rotten eggs and dead rats, but n nothing useful. I think it's, it kind of sucks that there's all of this crap that is kind of completely useless to you. I, maybe there is a use for the boots and the rats, but I don't think there is. I think if you tried to eat a rat, you would just get quite sick. So, um, 
I'm, I decided now that I'm going to try and just run off into the countryside and see if I can run into something. Um, there's robots over there looking for me because they last saw me in the woods. And I'm going to run toward this moon over here, which is just, it's kind of pretty. I, I was like, ooh, look at that. And I wanted to run toward it. And uh, it was nice. And now we're just in the hillside with the rocks and the grass trying to find any, I don't think you'll find anything out here, but it, <laughs> you know what's weird about watching this footage after the fact is that like I keep the mouse like jerks up, which is me like emphasizing something I've said, but since the commentary is not there, it just kind of looks like I'm spazzing out every once in a while. I still have all those... I have so much meat, and I found so much alcohol last time, and I've got all the ammo in the world. If I found a gun, I would fit right in in Texas. I could just sign up. I could just drive down there and be like, yo, guys, I'm one of you, and they would believe it because of all the stuff. Oh, right. So uh, that <laughs> is creepy as hell. It reminds me of something out of uh, Half-Life. Actually, yeah, wasn't there something in Half-Life that looked kind of like that? I don't know, but that's a, that's a sea monster. Robotic sea monster. And I don't think he'll hurt you unless you actually go in the water. And he's just a deterrent. He's like, hey, let's stay on land, okay? This isn't lost. You're not going to go and then come back. You, you have to stay on this island. And that thing surprised me. I knew he was in the game, but that was the first time I'd ever seen it in person. And tentacle monsters are creepy. I mean, I'm not a Japanese schoolgirl or anything, but they're still weird to me. Because they're, they're all langly, and I don't like it. They would touch me. So, uh, over there, I just saw a robot next to an artifact. So I want to try and grab it. Even though I still don't have anything to defend myself, my objective is to find artifacts. That is the main point of the game. So I was like, it's right there. I should try and go for it. And all I can see is that one robot. I don't see any, I don't see any friends over there. It's just that one guy patrolling. So with any luck, I should be able to avoid him. And I, I like how I kind of have to talk in non-spoiler, because <laughs> I know what happens. I know how everything's going to go in this video, but i got to pretend I don't. So I've equipped the rocks. Uh, I found a good amount of those last episode, and I'm going to try and like throw them as a distraction. Oh, he saw me. Right. So I'm going to run away, and he's not pursuing. All right, good. So I'm going to try and throw this rock as a distraction, and then sneak up and just take the artifact. Just It's mine. Because what do they need? They don't need the artifact for anything, so... Anytime now. Anytime now, Pass. There we go. Through it. I just gotta quietly sneak. Sneak. Try and grab this artifact. It's right here. Just ink. grab it. Grab it. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up, Pass. Grab it. Grab it. Do it. All right. Oh, okay. Now, thankfully, I kind of left a big space open because I figured the artifacts are massive, so it's probably a good idea that I leave a giant space open there. Which I... <laughs> I threw that other rock as like a... Eh, stay away. And it seems like it worked. It seems like the robot is not a fan of being stoned, so he backed off and it did not pursue me. So, still, we are, now that I've got the artifact, I'm still on the hunt for the gun, although at a point I do actually realize that I can't possibly carry a gun. I do not have the room. I think, um, from memory, I think a revolver is four squares, like two by two. So maybe I could squeeze it in there if I tetris my my inventory a little bit. But r uh, that those fragments are a pain in the ass. They are really annoying to get because, like, all the ones I usually find are those giant ones. I never find the little ones. I think I found one. Now, a bird flew away, and all the robots in the area went, what was that? Because the, um, the birds will alert them that something is around. I'm going to take a sip of water. The birds will alert them that you're around, and if you see birds fly away, that means there are robots around. But uh, they do not pursue me. They do back off. I don't know if they can get over this little this little leaf and vine wall that's in front of me. I don't think they can jump over it. I might be wrong, but you can. So it's actually a pretty good way to get away, in my experience. Uh, but this is actually the town that was at the near the end of Part 1. Because to my right, I noticed it eventually, but to my right um, is that spot in the road where that artifact was. You know, where I had to play Tetris with my inventory to just fit it in there as quickly as I could. This is that town again. And I do realize that, but I also never got a chance to explore the, uh, the front of the houses. I only did the backsides. So I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, there is a gun in the front of these houses. Because the inventory is actually different depending on which door you go into. Um, I don't think... Do I find anything in here that's useful? I don't think I do. I'm still really cautious about the robots. Nope, just 
Nothing worth grabbing. I have plenty. I still have four bandages, and I haven't been hurt yet, so I don't see a point in carrying 18,000 bandages. That might bite me in the ass at some point down the line, but for now, I feel like four is enough. So yeah, now I notice the um, this is where the artifact was, but I need to go and I need to explore. And I gotta see if there's oh, there's a robot. There's a lot of robots. Let's distract him. Ha! All right, so now they're gonna go search over there. But then I ran, so <laughs> I should have stayed crouched. I ran, and he noticed me, but uh, it was that uh, it was that first alert status of what was that? What was that noise? So he didn't he didn't actually see me. So he's not pursuing me. He's just kind of like what was that? Oh, nothing. Never mind. There was a really fleshy looking thing on two legs over there, but ah, it's probably nothing. Probably like a giant bird. It's now creeping, creeping. What's in here? <gasps> nothing. What's what's over here? I'm really hoping they don't turn around. Seems like they're moving on, or at least moving out of sight for an extended period of time. So I'm gonna sneak over here. Don't come, don't, don't come around that corner. There's nothing. There's some pickled onions. I'll take those. I've never had pick. The only pickled thing I've ever had are pickles. No, and he sees me, so I'm gonna run now. Okay, I don't think. Oh, yep, they're shooting at me. Yep, they are certainly shooting at me. They are not happy with me. So I just gotta run up here through the woods, over the mountain, and through the woods to uh, somewhere safe we go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, I don't think they're chasing me anymore, but why take the risk? May as well go in as deep as I possibly can. So yeah, we still have not found... <laughs> we still have not found any type of weapon to defend ourselves, and we are carrying a giant artifact, so I'm, uh, I'm going to go and drop that off uh, first. I don't think I even intentionally try and find the point. I think I just kind of stumble upon the save point again. I tend to go in circles a lot in this game. Um... The vitality meter that's on the bottom there, I mentioned it in the last part, uh, but it I think if it hits zero, you die. Because that's essentially your food meter. So I think if it hits zero, you die. If it stays above 50, your health will regenerate. Uh, but, you know, I have full health, so that's not really an issue for me right now. But I think it goes down like five points every minute or something like that. I might be incorrect about that timing, but I think I read that somewhere. So I took so I, did I find more bullets? I don't I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. It's it's really weird watching just regular gameplay. Oh no, there's robots over there. We got to avoid them. Thankfully there's none in this village. There is so much there are so many dead rats and skulls and moldy bread. Like here's the thing, if for bread and eggs to be that moldy and rotten, wouldn't they have had to been out for like a long time? Doesn't bread not start to mold for like a week or two. Like, it seems like if, if you're dropped onto this island and you're aware of the robot menace, then... Oh, more tea. Yeah, take some tea. I love tea. Tea is good. Put some Splenda and some honey in there. But if, I would think that if you were on this island... Like, you just seem to be starting off. Like, I, like I'm going to guess that the robots ran in and wiped everyone out. So how long has it been? How long have the robot overlords been on this island looking for you? Or is this like predators? Did they did they just like abduct you from some other world and drop you on here? And maybe it's been months or whatever. All right, so good. Now we found this. Boom. Splendid. And the guy uh, compliments me. And that is that is very nice. I like this. This this guide of mine is very dapper. I would not be surprised if there was some twist where it turns out he's actually uh, like an evil robot man who wants you to collect all the fragments to open a gateway to the. To, for the robots to take over, like Terminator. This is actually can. This is actually what happened in Terminator. Yep, it was this and then Terminator uh, 2. Or 1? 1. Right? Salvation. <laughs> uh, no. I don't know. No, 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 no. That doesn't make sense. No, he got sent back in time. So, like, it was in the 1980s. So, this took place in, like, 2000-something. And then Salvation happened, and then 1, and then 2, and then 3. Uh, even uh, Is Salvation canon? I don't know if it's still canon. It's not a great movie. Still nothing. I really cannot catch a break. I'm finding houses full of things. I found more ammo. Yay, yeah, woo, bullets. They're great. But they're not really useful without something to put them in. I can't throw the bullets. Like I said last time, like I said in part one, I can't throw the bullets at the robots. I could, but then it would just go like, ting, beepity boopity boop, and then I get killed a bunch. Un more <laughs> I forgot how much ammo. I am. If I find a revolver at some point, I have all the ammo in the world for it. Knowing my luck, I'll probably find, like, a shotgun or a shotgun. How many? There's all a rifle. There's also a rifle. Things I have no ammo for is my point. 
Still not finding anything, though. I've been kind of reckless. Like, I've I've been trying to sneak, but at the same time, robots have seen me, like, five or six times. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if that's everyone's experience with Sir, You're Being Hunted. But me, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm being a little reckless because they keep seeing me. But uh, there is this village over here on the outskirts that I don't see any enemies in. But... <laughs> Right, it was called Sandy Bullfitch. I laughed, I laughed hysterically when I first saw that. I, I, that sounds like a British insult. It sounds like you would be in line and someone would cut you and you'd be like, "You Sandy Bullfitch." I'm gonna start using that from now on. I, that's a, that's a, just a funny combination of words to me. More moldy bread, more stuff that's absolutely useless. No robots though. Nice big tree. I feel like that tree is, like, a centerpiece of the town. Like, it symbolizes something? Maybe not. Modern World Street, still nothing. At this point, I was getting really frustrated that I literally couldn't find anything useful. It was just, like, every once in a while, I'd find bullets, but it was just bread, 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 eggs, everything. Uh, nice big tree. It's good. It reminds me of that tree from 300, except with less dead things and dying kids. And... <gasps> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I found a gun, everyone! I actually managed to find a damn gun, and I have so much ammo for it, so I feel so confident at this point. I don't know, actually, if that's... I don't know if I have 42 bullets or 36. I don't know if... I don't know if the ammo is, like, total ammo, or if the rounds are, like, what you have currently in your clip. I think that's how it works. I think I have 42, but I'm not quite sure, actually. But yeah, I've got... I've got all the ammo in the world, so now I can... I can take on all the robots. I can clear off the island. I can make this a paradise to live on. An island paradise with absolutely no dangers. Or if I get overwhelmed, I could just save a bullet and put the gun in my mouth. That was that was really dark. <laughs> I immediately apologize. I know you guys come to these videos. You guys come to my content for like, yeah, funny, woo, robot overlords and jokes and stuff about about uh funny and survival and yeah, but th now I just talked about... That's... Yeah. Hmm. That took a dark turn. This got awkward. <laughs> this, this got very awkward. Oh, what is this? Oh, I found I found an apple! Apple a day keeps the robot bullets... Actually, they still hurt just the same, so never mind. It doesn't actually do anything. I think I spent a long time talking about that balloon. Because there's actually a robot, if you look closely... Oh, gotta avoid them. If you look closely, there's actually a robot in the uh, balloon searching for you. But even if you take him out, the balloon is still sentient and will spot you just the same. So it's actually pointless to, uh, to try and attack those things at all. So now I'm heading to that save point to call it a day. That beautiful, beautiful, sexy stone checkpoint. I run through... Yep, I, I, okay, I just heard a sound and it made me jump. <laughs> In 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 hindsight, I don't I don't know why, I don't know if something saw me, but it's not good. Doesn't matter though. I'm gonna make it back to the save point. You know what else is weird about this game? The music has a lot of beepity boops, and the robots beepity boop. So that's unfair. The developers are kind of absolute jerks because <laughs> they make you worry just because of the music cues. So I made it back to the save point, and I am super excited that now I finally have a gun and I have victory stick, nom, 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 nom. which you cook medium. I used to always cook medium well, but I was told numerous times by friends that's the wrong way to do it. You cook medium. So we did it, and then we save, which I realized would bite me in the ass about 30 seconds afterwards. So uh, I know this video was very different than the last one because of the technical hiccups. I do apologize. I know this might not have been for everyone, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment letting me know what you thought, and hey, if you're new, maybe consider subscribing for future videos. So uh, I will see you guys later.